Hey guys, I'm your Spence Olchen, the Whippet, who goes home really soon. And before he goes home, I want to make a video for his family to refer back to when they need help or a reminder as to what to do, how to use the training around the house in their day-to-day -day life. Because this training, you're not going to take your dog home from their board and training and just be like, all right, they were trained, let's go back to the way we were living before. Because clearly that way wasn't beneficial to you or Spence. So we're gonna change the way that we live with him using the commands throughout the day. We're not gonna take him home and throw the commands away. We're gonna use the training. What we're also not gonna do is take him home and live the way you were living with him before and then do the training like 10 or five minutes every day doing drills. Uh, your dog will know their commands, but they won't really believe you and they won't do them without being told. So we wanna live with our dogs in an authentic way using their training. And so one way to do that is by having a nice kennel. So he's in a kennel, water bucket, bone to chew on, soft bed, big enough to stand up in, turn around in, lie down uncomfortably. Good boy. He's gonna be in here overnight, every night. He's gonna be in here when you go out to run and get the mail, when you go shopping, when you go to the movies. When you have guests over and you don't feel like dealing with managing the dog, you can use a kennel. So it's really useful. If you work from home, he needs to be in the kennel for at least one hour a day, every day to practice being in the kennel when his family is home. Because Spence, if I know him well, it is a big case of FOMO. He really wants to be with his people because he's super clingy. He loves his people, they make him feel secure. Um, for an anxious dog, we don't want to feed into that. So we want to make sure that he understands how to exist without crawling into your skin every moment. Good boy. Nice job. So he's in his kennel. If I open the door, he should not run out. If he does run out, we've got our collar on. When we wake up in the morning, by the way, we come downstairs, Say good morning, nice and calm. Open the door, put his charged collar on. Make sure that the collar and the remote are paired together before you put it on, of course. Put his collar on, and then he has that on for the rest of the day. Every three to four hours, you're gonna rotate that collar from one side of his neck to the other, or from the side of his neck to the back of his neck. It can go anywhere on his neck, but the front, the trachea. So make sure you're using it throughout the day, especially with the whippet, because they have pretty sensitive skin. Good job. All right, so when I open that door, he doesn't come out. If he does come out, the collar's already on. I have the remote in my hand on this nice little bungee. It's always ready to go. If he comes out without being recalled or released, I'm going to say N-O, pressure, pressure, pressure. So tapping that T button, or tapping the S button right there. Get him back in there. So N-O, tap, 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 twice, until he's back in there. Stay consistent. He might lie down. He might walk out of the room, recall him back, and get him in there. Do not just say, I'm in a hurry, gotta get to work, gotta get the kids to school, and give up. Because he will learn to blow you off. He will learn that just lying down and shutting down and not listening to you will get him out of work. Um, he's not a defiant dog, but he is a anxious dog who just tends to try and get out of work by just not doing it. Good boy. Thankfully he does not flee, he just freezes. Good boy. Kettle door's open. He knows to stay. He can come over here. All right, to get him out, I'm going to recall him out. So, Spence, come, tell Spence, come. Good boy, yes. And show him where to go with my hand. Nice job. Sit. Good job. He sits very slow. He downs. Nice job, buddy. Good boy. I'm gonna ask him to heal with me through the house. Even though we're inside my house, we're not on a walk. Healing helps him understand to move through the house calmly. Heal. Good boy. Good job. Good job. He leaves. Pressure on. Use the toe. Good boy. So when we're in heal, inside or outside, if he leaves heal, I stay calm. I stay on my path. Keep moving confidently because I'm a leader and I trust my dog will follow me. He leaves my path, I tap stem first, and then the tone. When he gets back to me, heal, good boy. Nice job. So I'm not gonna panic, I'm not gonna go, oh no, I lost him, and run after him, because then you're teaching him, yeah, pull off my heel. Good boy. When I stop, you should stop, and down, good boy. And we'll have him down here while I do some chores. Stay. All right, you did a great job holding his down stay while I swept, and now I'm gonna leave him in that room. I'll come over here and show you something else that's pretty cool. I can tap the T button. Come! 
Good boy. And he comes and downs at my feet. Down. Good boy. And from here, I can send him to place. Spence, place. Good boy. He should automatically lie down. If I send him to place and he just chose to lay down right here, that's another N-O, tap, 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 place until he's on there. If he got on the bed and then just stood there or sat down, I'd say D-O-W-N. And then tap if he doesn't lay down immediately. Good boy. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. So we like to use a raised cot for a place bed. It'd just be a single cot, not six stacked on top of each other. But we like to use the raised cot because it has very clear boundaries for the dog. They're either on the bed or they're off it and they're wrong. With the soft beds like this, if this soft bed was just on the ground, not on a cot, it's a little bit more gray. It's not black and white as a place cot is. Is he on if his foot's off? Yeah. Is he still on place if his entire torso is hanging off that bed onto the ground? Yeah, but not really. I would correct it, get him on there fully like this. Good boy. So I really recommend until your dog is super, super proficient at the place command and stays on there and knows their job perfectly, use a raised cot or a raised surface like an ottoman or a table or a rock or a chair as the dog's place bed until they're really, really solid with their, their job. Nice job, buddy. However, you can put a soft bed on their raised cot. So, Get a race cut. If your dog is bony and skinny like this guy, uh, put a nice soft bed on there. A blanket, bones, shoes, anything that helps him stay calm and happy. Good job. He's very bony, he's very skinny, um, and so I really recommend a blanket or a bed on there. Nice job. You can have your dog on place for, I'd say up to three hours without a break. So when you're doing conference calls, watching a movie, having dinner or cooking, really nice. It gives your dog a place to be, involved in the family activities, involved in whatever you're doing, so they're not shut in a kennel or a different room. But it also teaches them, don't be underfoot. Don't rush the door. Stay there, stay calm. Good boy. You get nice, calm praise. Good job. All right, but we didn't get dogs just to have them heal around the house and lay down in the kennel or on a place. So we got them to play with, enjoy, cuddle. And so when he's ready, come off the place that I tell him, Spence, break! I let him know he's free to come off. You can play with him, but what he really wants is to be <laughs> All he really wants is to be pet and loved on, which is fine by me. Good boy, buddy. Nice job.